Thank you for joining us for episode 6. This episode we find ourselves traveling to the Medicine Lodge Rodeo. The Medicine Lodge Rodeo is an awesome family event hosted by some really, really great people. What really struck me was how many generations of families were involved. There was uh, second and third generation competitors and people that were at the rodeo. Uh, it was actually really, really inspiring to see. Uh, mind you, I am a little bit biased. I mean, it is my family that does put on this rodeo and I'm very proud of what they do. With the upcoming Northwest Overland Rally coming up in June, this was a great opportunity to shake the dust off our camping gear and kind of uh, get used to camping in the back of the Jeep again. As of right now, we're not set up with a rooftop tent. That is in the future, it is coming, but uh, we actually have uh, sleeping in the back set up pretty nice actually. We do go into the layout of how we got the, uh, the Jeep all set up for camping a little bit later in the video. Uh, we also met up with a really cool guy named Jack. Jack was actually quite the character. This gentleman probably forgot more about Jeeps than I have ever learned about Jeeps. He, he was quite the historian buff. So it was really neat to see how, uh, how his Jeep was and, and how he, uh, he can actually show you how to decode the VIN for the old CJ series. I actually uh, do have the uh, VIN and how it's decoded a little bit later in the video as well. Uh, plus some really cool stories. Anyways, I, I hope you enjoy. Here at the Medicine Lodge Rodeo, gonna go out, take a look at some of the events. Should be pretty fun. Had a really beautiful sleep in the Jeep last night. Had it all set up so that we can actually uh, uh, sleep in the back. It was awesome, very cozy. We've got it all set up here so we can cook outside. And of course, we're surrounded by beautiful, wonderful horses, cattle, and uh, a lot of rodeo partiers. <laughs> And man, could those cowboys party. Good thing we had a good spot to sleep. It was, it was a great sleep. Um, anyways, here's a couple pictures of how the campsite was set up. Uh, the bed is amazing. I can fully stretch out in the back of the Jeep from head to foot and not touch. Uh, the, um, uh, the campsite was set up nice. We had the uh, camp stove pulled out and uh, we were able to make ourselves some, uh, some pretty mean meals. Well, without much further ado, here's some uh, some of the highlight footage from the rodeo.
Well, this rodeo was really well run. Um, had a concession stand, gift shop, even had a nice dance hall. Um, really, really well done. They had magic shows for the kids during the daytime. They had a train that would go around and take all the kids for a ride. And uh, even on Saturday night, they had a band called Laredo come and uh, definitely made it fun for everybody to come down. So. Very well run, guys. Very well run. It was at the end of the day that I met Jack. Um, his uh, old CJ was absolutely amazing. He had documentation to back up everything about it. He even showed me how to break apart the VIN codes to prove that it was actually uh, a doorless vehicle right from factory. Uh, in fact, this particular CJ was the first CJ to actually beat the no door law in BC by proving that it didn't come with doors in the first place. Uh, it was a really, really cool experience. Jack had a wealth of knowledge and uh, definitely was, that alone was worth the trip. <laughs> <laughs> 